hello welcome to my channel today i'll be showing you how to ventilate a wig now what does ventilation mean it's a process of passing individual strands of hair into mesh foundation or nets in this case your lace it's a tool used by professional wig makers to design wigs to ventilate you need certain things as tools and equipment you need your mannequin head your mannequin head and t pins to secure your your lace on top of your mannequin head. You need what is called a ventilating needle. The ventilating needle. It has a brass holder, the needle on the top, and the brass holder is the golden part of it that you're seeing. And the needles come in different sizes, depending on how many strands of hair you intend to pull at a time. You can see that the brass holder is adjustable you remove it you can unscrew it and add your ventilating needle to it both of them come together but in most cases you can buy the needle separately and just include it and tie it onto your brass holder you also need hair of course you need these butterfly clips you need see a pair of scissors for this and you need spray you need to cut out your wefts for us to be able to, to be able to start the process you cut out the weft on your human hair that you want to use to ventilate you cut out the wefts you remove all the short short hairs on the on your bundle remove all the short shots excess hairs just make sure that as you're working there's a free flow so we drag out all excess hairs from it now you want to hold a little amount of hair per time so that you don't scatter or waste hairs you bring it out and that's how you hold it and with your ventilating needle. So please stay with me. I will be going through a detailed process. Now, this is our lace. It's a frontal that I am repairing. A frontal that has gone bald. It was brought to me by one of my clients and I have to repair it. Instead of them buying a new one, I'm going to repair this frontal. Please stay with me to see how the process works from scratch to finish. As you can see, I'm passing the needle through the net. Pass the needle through the net. Bring it, hook your hair on it, drag it through the net back, and then you knot it. It's, it's a continuous process until you achieve your desired results. For you to be able to ventilate, there are certain things you would need for you to be able to finish because it's a very tedious process. You want to be able to be very comfortable while you're working. You need a stool, a high stool. And also, you need your mannequin head to be lower than the stool but not in a way that your back has to bend so much you know because whatever however you're working it's going to affect your back so you have to be in a very comfortable position now if you have eyesight issues you would need also a magnifying lens because the holes on the lace the net they are very tiny so you need magnifying lens to be able to see them. Even though you don't have eyesight problems, you have to still get, I advise you still get this magnifying lens because over time, when you do this over and over again, your eye will begin to ache you. Your eyes will begin to ache. So please, if you can, just get a, a magnifying lens. Another thing I'll, I'll advise you get is a torch. You know those kind of torch that you can tie on, you can clip on your head. Because while your head is bent, you really want to see where you're working on. You need enough 
lighting for that so that's it you can see how i'm passing the hair through the lace pulling it out pass the hair through the lace pulling it out and forming a knot with it so because i'm repairing a frontal i'm pulling like two to three strands of hair at a time not one one piece of hair at a time just watch watch how i do this from scratch to finish